Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Technical Vocabulary where we learn meaning and definition of several technical words. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be actually understanding a new word called as test hardness. Now test hardness is basically a collection of stub and drivers put together in order to automate a test. Now this can also be related to any simple term like test hardness or any other tool hardness which might be required for any other activity. For example, when we uh, do cut our crops, we make use of some hardnesses and we call them as hardness tools to basically harvest your crop from the fields. Now, similarly, if I have to make use of anything which supports my process in order to make that happen, that's what is called as hardness, which can be called as a support or maybe a dummy which is acting in place of the real one for the time being in order to help you do that work is what you call it as test hardness. In our term, when we talk about the software testing, we make use of stub and drivers, which are basically a dummy modules provided in order to continue the flow and conduct the testing. Now, in this case, we can also relate it to the automation testing, where automation testing requires a lot of supporting material in order to automate a particular test. For example, it can be library functions, it can be your test data, it can be a reporting module which you want to extract at the end of the execution and capture all the outcomes what exactly happened at the time of execution. So all this put together can be called as a test hardness. It has all the collection of the necessary libraries and uh, definitely the reporting part and can have the test data or anything else in order to automate a test. So put together, a test hardness tool can also be given as an example of J unit and N unit. So these are basically our test hardness tools or unit frameworks tools. But I cannot now refer it as unit framework because this is actually alone not going to execute a particular test. So you need the collection of the stub and drivers put together and including the libraries which will be imported in order to run. So we import a package when we run a J unit test and also makes use of any external frameworks in order to get the results like test ng and so on. So this is what you basically call a test hardness as and which will be helpful for you to set up the environment in order to automate a test or execute a test set. Okay, so now it can also be having several other examples like not only just JUnit because these unit test frameworks are language specific. So I have JUnit for Java, NUnit for .NET and I have PyTest for Python and so on. So that's where we just wanted to discuss today is test hardness. I hope you got a good understanding of that. Should you have any other words with you, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to pick them up and talk about it. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.